Hello everyone, I'm Landon and I'm the DM. I've got what you want. Another Kickstarter highlight. This one is hit point powered. Seeds of Decay by Daryl Jones. I've seen Daryl on a number of Kickstarters, both as a collaborator and just in the comments. A crack has formed in the darkness, leaking decay into the forest, twisting its creatures into terrible monstrosities. To me, this seems like a really interesting campaign setting, almost along the same vein as Humblewood. Having already looked through the campaign page, I would say that this one really ticks all the boxes for me but let's dive into the details of why. But before that, I would like to say that if you're one of the 85.5% of people who are watching my videos who are not subscribed, welcome to the channel. If you like what you see, then consider subscribing and hitting that bell. First off, I have to say that I really like this art that's here on this graphic right at the top. It shows us the key details about what's here, what's inside. Three modular rule systems for inventions, contraptions, and forging. 30 plus original spells, 30 plus original illustrated items, 60 plus new monsters, Create your own playable forest animal species, new classes, subclasses, backgrounds, feats, and more. Adventure arc spanning level 1 to 8, with side quests, hooks, and expansive lore for an open world feel. That all sounds really cool to me. Seeds of Decay is a 300 plus page tome packed with exciting new content that you can immediately add to your 5e game. Engage in compelling adventures, rules for inventing new equipment, building contraptions, and foraging for components, plus a treasure trove of fully illustrated spells, items, monsters, and player options. There's even rules for playing tiny characters. That's all really cool. I, as a DM, I really like being able to pull from different sources for things like foraging or building things or making new equipment. So having this resource is really cool to be able to have something that's well thought out and balanced. It's great. Then here they have this nice preview of the products. The campaign actually has some pretty fun lore and flavor to it, so I'm going to share some of that with you. There's trouble in the forest. A crack has formed in the darkness, leaking rot and decay. Trees are withering, crops are failing to mature. Strange, twisted creatures have been seen in the shadows. The Rot Weaver, he's been called many names, but all know him, he is the Lightless. The Rot Weaver has returned, threatening all life in Dauberton. When the Starfather touched the earth with his light, the Prime Tree sprouted, and from it came the first Dauber. But Daubers aren't the only thing that were born that day. Darkness was shattered, and from its cracks stepped the Rot Weaver. He is the father of decay the Tainted, the In-Betweener, a Shadowling. The Twisted Bestiary is a jam-packed compendium of creatures and monsters from real life and legend that have been twisted by the terrible decay that has spread throughout the always green forest. I really like the art for these monsters here. The art throughout this whole campaign is really nice, I like it. Even these maps down here look really good. And here we see the 10 player character race options and more details about the woodkin and the daubers that you can check out for yourself. Seeds of Decay comes with a few subclasses, but also some full subclasses. So there's three new classes according to this, and I did read in the comment that there's potential that there'll be a couple more added. It looks like they have a lot of gaming tools to help you with playing or DMing the Seeds of Decay as a campaign, creature, NPC, and encounter reference cards, player reference cards with class-specific notes, custom character sheets, and there's large fold-out maps. And here you can see some sample mock-ups of those things. Let's talk about pledge tiers. If you just want the PDF, it's 25 bucks, but you also get the STL monster pack from the stretch goals. For 50 bucks, you get that hardcover book as well as that digital bundle. Then you have the deluxe digital bundle, which comes with the VTT maps and tokens. The box set will run you 80 bucks, but it gets you pretty much everything you would want. It has those fold-out maps, the reference cards, the character sheets. This is probably the tier I would choose. And there is the deluxe box set for 120, which comes with all that you see here. And they do have one of these handy charts to figure out which tier is best for you based on what you want. They have a bunch of add-ons for things like a hex chest, Elderwood spellbook, more hardbacks, those digital tokens, character sheets, the GM screen, reference cards, printout maps, resin dice, and olive wood dice. They do have a number of stretch goals, uh, a couple of which have already been unlocked, which un we unlock the GM screen and the STL set of minis. And coming up next, they have the 60k stretch goal for a CD side quest by TK Johnson, with more stretch goals to be unlocked the further up we reach. And they do have a playtest download here that you can check out. I believe there's three different files and you can check out these various things to see if this is something you would like. I think this is an awesome Kickstarter. I love fun campaign settings, and I love having all these extra player options and treasures and monsters, and having these extra mechanic systems for being able to make contraptions or build stuff or scavenge for things. Just adds so much more to the game if I'm able to pull from it. I think it's a really cool theme. I think you might enjoy it as well. I recommend that you back this campaign. And that was Seeds of Decay by Daryl Jones on Kickstarter. This one was powered by Hitpoint Press, who has a great 
track record of making some amazing things and delivering them. So I think you can feel pretty safe about backing this one. Make sure you check out the Kickstarter and show Daryl Jones some support. If you back the campaign, let them know that you saw my video. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, give it a like. If you want to see more D&D and tabletop related Kickstarter content, go ahead and hit subscribe and hit that bell. Leave a comment below and let me know what your favorite part of this Kickstarter was. If you'd like to give me additional support, you can find my Patreon below the video, as well as the link to the Kickstarter. I'm Landon, and I'm the DM, and I'll see you at the next Kickstarter.